we're tired. Oh God. And we've got about four hours to do minimum today. We are on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal, heading up towards the... Standage Tunnel. And if you're wondering why we have to go today, it's because we're booked into the Standage Tunnel on Monday. And because you, you have to book in advance. And if you're wondering why we're in such a rush to get to the booking on Monday, it's because we have to beat a stoppage at the Huddersfield Broad Canal when the winter stoppages start on the 4th of November, which is in 10 days' time. And if you're wondering why we didn't leave very much time to do it, it's because there was an unscheduled stoppage at the Rochdale Canal that we couldn't get past that only opened two days ago. And if you're wondering why we're so tired, it's because we did 11 hours yesterday to get here. Have I missed anything out? I have a headache. <laughs> I've had a headache for two days. I'm getting a headache for my headaches. And therefore, we should make more headache. <laughs> yeah, so we got to go to about four hours. We got to get up to, what did you say, lock? Well, look, 17? Um, if we, no, if we aim for 13 or 14, we do about nine or 10 today, do nine or 10 tomorrow. That leaves eight on the last day. And we've got some volunteer crew who is pledged to come out on Sunday. <clears throat> so uh, that will get us up the last locks, which would be a huge help. But in order for us to meet them, we have to get up the first lock. So, which is a shame because, you know, it just means we're not enjoying this canal as much as we should and we're not stopping at the places that we'd like to look around and stuff. Yeah. But it's either that or get stuck for six months. Yeah, well, five months. Um, five weeks, at least. Well, that's a little less than six months. <clears throat> five weeks is a little less than six months. I know. I said six months. You said five weeks. You made me look bad. It's okay. <laughs> I got a headache. <laughs> Let's go. We're moored between locks four west and five west on the west side of Staleybridge. We basically took the first spot we found when we arrived at dusk last night, but there are lots more moorings, arguably nicer ones, all the way up to Loch 7. This lock was buried under a car park after the Huddersfield Narrow Canal was officially closed in the 1960s. As you can see, it's been fully restored. The canal is only wide enough for one boat here, so I walk ahead to check that there isn't a boat coming down the lock before Michael brings the boat into the channel. We're in the centre of Staley Bridge here. The canal cuts right through the middle of the town square. When the canal was restored, Lock 6 was moved to this location. There are more visitor moorings in the pound above this lock, and you can see the Pennines ahead in the distance. We decided to pull over at Tesco's to stock up. We hadn't planned to, but when you continuously cruise, it's hard to pass up a grocery shopping opportunity as convenient as this one. Lock 7 West is partly made up of the restored original lock and partly a brand new concrete construction. Lots of new waterside apartments alongside the restored canal here. Mm -hmm. 
I should probably explain a little bit about the history and topography of this canal. The Huddersfield Narrow Canal runs from Whitelands Basin in ashton under Lyme up and across the Pennines, well through it at the Standage Tunnel, and then down to Huddersfield itself, a total distance of about 20 miles. The locks on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal are numbered from each end to the tunnel at the peak. The lock numbers on the west side of the tunnel are followed by the letter W, while those on the east side are followed by the letter E. There are 32 west locks and 42 east locks. That's a lot of locks for us to do in the next few days. The canal took almost 20 years to build and the construction was fairly problematic. It finally opened in 1811. The canal serviced the many mills along its route, although it did face competition from the Rochdale Canal which also crosses the Pennines. It was fairly successful, but eventually abandoned in 1944 and officially closed in the 1960s. The Huddersfield Canal Society was formed in 1974 and thanks to their work and commitment the route was reopened in 2001. During the restoration, the canal was rerouted through the legs of this electricity pylon. quick stop at the service point to use the LSAN and deposit our rubbish. That's the remains of an overhead structure where coal was carried from the railway line to a now abandoned power station at Hayrod on the other side of the canal and River Tame. The rain has arrived, which means it's time to get on the wet weather gear as we ascend this lot. As the boat comes up, I walk to the next lock to get it ready. Unfortunately, Michael doesn't take the rope with him when he gets off the boat to shut the gate behind him. This means he jumps back on in a hurry and the gate stays open. I guess I'll be walking back to shut it. It's a good job these two locks are very close together. This section of canal was reinforced in 2006 as there's a very steep embankment to the left. There's a boat coming down the next lock, the first we've seen on the move on this canal. It's always nice to have a chat to other boaters in locks, something there's much less opportunity to do in winter. We get some tips on places to moor ahead and then it's our turn to come up the lock.
This is Scout Tunnel. It's 200 metres long and we're mainly travelling through exposed rock, although it's lined with bricks at both ends. We're now approaching the canal side town of Mosley. It looks really pleasant here, but we're not stopping just yet. Lock 14, and that's the old wood end mill building on the left. The rain keeps coming and we've made the decision to go all the way to Upper Mill above Lock 21. Our logic being that we are cold and wet and if we continue we can't get any colder or wetter. If we cover enough distance today perhaps we can take a day off cruising tomorrow. Bridge 85 is called Division Bridge and it's officially the point where we cross from Lancashire into Yorkshire. This is the Royal George Aqueduct which takes us across the River Tain. We're now passing through the village of Friesland and the rain is just getting heavier and heavier, which means we don't film much for the rest of the day. Our current plans dictate that we'll be coming back along here in the summer. Let's hope we manage to pick a drier day for that cruise. There are some visitor moorings above Wade Lock in the village of Upper Mill. I honestly don't think we could have found a more autumnal looking setting. What with it being so wet and us being so cold and damp, we don't end up filming an outro to the vlog. We hope you enjoyed this cruise on the Huddersfield Narrow Canal. If you did, give the video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell if you want to receive notifications every time we post a new video. For 11 hours? <laughs> what? <laughs> Pretty sure I don't look like a man who pooed for 11 hours. You said cruise. You said pooed. Did I? <laughs> Having a good day? Oh yeah. I drink Canadian. Oh yeah, I hear. It's 
and Kimmings. Let's hope we manage to pick a, a drier day for that cruise. Let's hope we manage to pick a diet. Let's hope we pr let's hope we manage to pick it.